This question of how to select segments in the editor of Studio comes up a lot. So here's how you do it. First of all, just using the mouse. If you pay attention to this column on the left hand side, I'm going to hold the control key down on my keyboard. And then if I click on the numbers, each number I click on, as long as I keep holding the control key down, it's going to select those segments that I'm clicking on. But I must click in the number, it doesn't work anywhere else. So now I can do something with those segments. So for example, I could press Control L and now I've just locked them. So all of the segments I just selected are now locked. I can unlock them by pressing the same. If I use the Shift key, so say for example, I wanted to select all the segments between segment five, for example, and segment 30, then I hold the Shift key down and then click on number 30 and that will highlight every segment between the ones I just I, I just selected, which is one and thirty. I press Control L, and now those are all selected. Sorry, it wasn't one and thirty; it was five and thirty. You can mix and match here. So I could, while that's still going, I could just undo that. What I could also do is I could hold the Control key down and say, "Oh, I should have picked up number two as well," and then press the Control L, and you see now I can add it. So you can work nicely in combination between selecting individual segments or all of the segments. Um, just by clicking on them and alternating between the shift and the control key. If I prefer to work with the keyboard only, then what I can do there is I hold the Alt key down. And when I do this, you'll see this activates the ribbon at the top here, Alt, and I keep it held, held down. But what I'm gonna do next is press the space bar. And when I press the space bar, the ribbon is no longer activated. And instead I now have this black box around the segment where I've just started. Now this black box is showing me where I am. So now what I can do is, keeping the Alt key down, I can use the down arrows. You can see the black box is moving. And if I press the space bar again, so on segment four, for example, I've just selected segment four. I can move the arrow key down, press the space bar again. I've just selected segment five. I go down a bit further to number eight, press the space bar, and I can do that as much as I like and I'm selecting the segments just by using the mouse. And if I press Control L, you can see I've just locked them. Perfect, so I can press Control L again. So what I can do next is come up to the top, and this time I'm gonna show you how to select segments that are together. So I press the Alt key down, press the space bar to select it, and this time I'm gonna hold the Shift key down while I've still got hold of the Alt key. So I'm not letting go of the Alt key. So I'm pressing the Alt, then the Shift, and as I move down with the down arrow key, each time I move it down, it's not only moving the box to show me where it is, it's actually selecting the segments as I go. So I could go to there, and you can mix and match with this as well. So at that point, if I decided I only wanted to go from segment 30 to the end and skip 21 to 29 inclusive, I can let go of the Shift key and then when I move down, it's not picking them up anymore, which means I can now go down to segment 30, for example, and then I can hold the shift key or hit the space bar so it knows where I am, then hit the shift key and go down to the bottom. And then if I press Control L there, I've locked all of those segments, and if I move back up, you can see that I should have skipped the ones in the middle, I did. So perfect. So you can use the mouse or the keyboard and select individual segments or whole groups of segments all in one go. Piece of cake. I hope that was helpful.